Hello everybody, this is Pond the Frugal Streamer. I have some great news for you, for you uh, VB Audio fans that use voice meter products. A lot of people have been asking about virtual audio cables and when VB Audio is going to come out with new ones. Well, I got good news is VB Audio released their virtual audio cable C and D a couple days ago and they are now available for download. So I'm going to show you where you can get them, how to get them, pay for them, and how to install them and use them and test them in your live stream. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, everybody. So VB audio cable C and D. I have not installed this yet. This is, I am literally doing this walkthrough from scratch. I have not done anything other than bring up the website. So website, okay. If you come to the normal VB audio website, you need to go to the web shop. Okay, so go to the web shop, go all the way here to audio apps and then you will find the VB cable CND. So you just click on that. And this is, of course, you cannot just download this for free. This is a donate if you get it. So uh, I recommend to test out to make sure that uh, VACs will work for you. Download the regular VAC before you download CND, test it, and then come and purchase A, B, and C, and D as you need. And we'll download uh, cable C and D zip file. So once you download, and of course you'll go open containing folder. And what we'll need to do is we'll need to extract this. And we must extract this to T uh, colon program files. And I don't have a folder, so we'll make a folder. Make a new folder. Which will be VB Audio. Alright, so once you have this extracted. To install this, you need to right click and run as administrator. Um, I have heard people say that they do not have this option. Um, and honestly, I don't know how to fix that other than make sure that your account is an admin account. If it's not an admin account, then you need to uh, log out and log in as an administrator. So make sure you run this as administrator, otherwise it will not work, okay? When you run as administrator, you run the installer, hit install, and it's copying the files. Installation is complete. And follow the directions and reboot. All right, so now that the cables are installed, we can now look to make sure that they, they indeed have installed properly and that they test properly. So quick way to do it is to look at the pull down list and voice meter here one of the channels you can do either one any of the five here in potato or any of the three in, in banana and see that they're listed in the list so now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and select a cable and we'll select cable c all right so now that that is selected we can then test it so an easy way to test it is using discord all right so let's go to discord and then once you do that then we should be able to hit let's check and you should see my voice now coming into this channel okay and that's exactly what it's doing uh, you can also check cable D so we'll go ahead and select cable D here and we'll pull it down and select cable D output into voice meter alright so now you should see my voice again Okay, as we've just changed cable. So both cables indeed work and they sound great. Uh, a couple things you need to worry about. Okay, first of all, let's go to sound settings. And this is another way you can check also is make sure that, of course, they're listed. Okay, but make sure 
that your default and because Windows will do this because it looks at the cables as a new audio device so make sure that you go in and and change your default playback to voice meter input or voice meter aux input whichever one you're using uh, you know you have the option if you're using voice meter potato to choose any of these three as your default playback device uh, but whichever one you're going to select make sure you change it back because more than likely windows changed it to the voice meter audio cable that you installed and most likely it was d because that was the last one you installed all right so you got that that's really it um super easy to do super easy to test uh one more thing uh, before i close the video out is uh you need to go to uh your sound control panel and go to playback and look look at the properties of each of the cables make sure that they are selected to either 44.1 or 48 kilohertz or you know 192 if you can support it uh, but make sure that they are not selected to 8000 because if they're 8000 then they're going to sound like crap okay so anyway so i got mine set to 24 bit uh 48 hertz studio quality and you can also test them here too um, using this test button and this will also output into voice meter if you have them selected okay so like so and i'll select cable c and hit the test and what's nice about that is it does test both left and right channels independently so you can see them working left and right so. All right, everybody, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Uh, really good to see the virtual audio cables come out. Uh, we needed two more, especially if you're using voice meter potato. So thanks, Vincent, and everybody at VV Audio for uh, bringing these out, and uh, I do appreciate all the work that goes into these. Anyway, if you need to download them, I will provide the link down in the description so you can get there easily. But I appreciate everybody sticking around watching the video. Make sure if you want more tutorials like this with voice meter uh, potato, voice meter banana, hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell for notifications. Also, if your video helped you out, give me the thumbs up or if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I do appreciate you coming by and watching. So thank you, everybody. This is Pundit Frugal Streamer. Have a great rest of your week, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.